Dangerous cold forcing counties across Metro Atlanta to give everyone a warm place to go tonight. Atlanta News First Bridget Spencer is live from a warming center off Gresham Road in DeKalb County. Bridget, a lot of people are trying to escape the freezing weather tonight. That's right, Carly, a man actually that I spoke with, he didn't go on camera, but he says, look, he is just glad to get out of these frigid cold temperatures. This center telling me this afternoon that they have seen a huge influx of people since this weather came in. No one wants to stay outside in the cold like that. Kimberly English is practicing the golden rule, treating others the way she would want to be treated. We had a mother that uh, her kids and she recently got evicted, so she actually ended up coming to our center. She's the first face people see when they walk into Frontline Response International, one of four warming centers in DeKalb County staying open all day this weekend due to frigid cold temps. It was a guy that I actually talked to. I was just checking to see how he was doing. He just said, Miss Kimberly, if it were not for you guys, I probably would have frozen to death. And the demand is pretty high. We're normally capacity at 100, but we actually had some overflow over the uh, over the last two days. So we had like almost a hawk, 125 individuals in the building. Organizations across the metro are opening their doors as ice cold air sticks around a little longer. DeKalb County says these centers will be open all day Saturday into Sunday at 1 p.m. Fulton County will keep its centers running through Monday at 10 a.m. English says it's the very least that she can do. It's more than just a bowl of soup. It's more than just oatmeal. I mean, there's something that you can do, do it. Now, Frontline actually is open during the entire winter season, during all the winter months, but they're only open at night usually. Now, when this kind of weather comes in, this is when they make sure to stay open 24 hours to make sure people have a warm place to sleep. We're live in DeKalb County. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.